Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make the maximum amount of money from horses and how to look after them in Farming Simulator 22. Now the first step is buying somewhere to keep your horses and you do this by opening the shop, going into construction, over to animals, into horses and you'll see we have a horse pasture and two barns. So you click on one of these and place it down just like this. Now once you've bought somewhere to keep your horses the next step is buying them. And there's three ways you can do this. The first way is walking over to this icon and opening the animal dialogue. And you can buy them through here. Now you will have to pay a transport fee doing it this way, which is £300 per horse. And there's no difference between the horses, they're all just different colours. <laughs> the second way you can do this is by using one of these trailers. Now each one of these will hold two horses. This one here can be connected to a tractor and this one connects to a pickup. Then what you have to do is drive over to the animal dealer, load up the horse box, bring them back and unload them into one of your barns. And that way you won't have to pay the transport fee. Now the third way you can do this is by opening the shop, going to the animal dealer, selecting which horse pasture or barn you want to put your horses into. So I'll select this barn and you can buy horses this way and you can select the amount that you want to buy. You do also have to pay the transport fee doing it this way. Now once you've bought your horses, you need to look after them. So if we open this menu here, you'll see that the horses need straw, base food and hay. Now base food is either oat or sorghum and you want to use a mixture of base food and hay to get the maximum effectiveness. Now if you're using one of the horse pastures, that doesn't require straw but it requires water. First of all I'll show you how to put water into the horse pasture. So if I get into this tractor here, you'll see that I have this water tanker on the back. Now you find this in the shop under the animals category. And what I've also done is I've placed down a water tank which you can find in construction under containers is this one here. You can also fill this trailer from any part of water on the map. So if you go onto the map and find a part of water you can reverse up to it and fill the trailer this way. But doing it this way is a lot quicker. So you just drive up to the water tank and fill it like this. Once you've filled up your water tank you want to drive over to your horse pasture and you'll see there we have an icon for water so you reverse up to this and there you'll see we get the unload sign. Now if we go into this animal menu you'll see that they now have water. Now the difference between the pasture and the barns is that the barns don't require water but they require straw. They already provide the water for you. So I'll get into this tractor here and I'll show you how you unload that. Now that barn's full up of straw, so I'll show you in this end one here, and it should let us put some in. Now you can use either loose straw like this, or you can use straw bales. So if I reverse up here, you'll see that we get the unload sign for straw. And there we go, it just unloads in there like that. Now if I open the animal menu, you should see that we'll have straw. There we go, we're full of straw in there. Moving on to feeding the horses, if I swap into this tractor, I'll show you how to do that. So I have a trailer of oat, but you can use oat or sorghum and it won't make a difference. And if you're using this barn, you just reverse up to these doors here and we should get the unload sign come up. Now if you're using the bigger barn, you'd put this in at the same place as the straw. Now I'm not going to put all of this in because we do need to give them a mixture of either oat or sorghum and hay for maximum effectiveness. Now if you don't have any oat or sorghum spare, there is another way you can do this. If I open the shop, I'll show you what you can use. So if you open the shop and go to objects, into big bags, you'll see there's bags of oats, or they come on pallets. And you can use these to feed your horses if you don't have any oat or sorghum. I have got one of the big bags, so I can show you how to use them. So if I get into this tractor here, I'll show you how to do that. Now if you're using one of the big bags, you're going to want one of these attachments on a front loader, which is a big bag handler. And if you're using one of the pallets, you can just use anything with a pallet fork on. So a telehandler or a tractor. Now what you do is you attach them like this. And if you're using the horse pasture, you put all of your food into this bit here. Where you see we have the unload icon. Now with these big bags, they'll just empty in like this. But if you're using a trailer, you just reverse up and the unload sign will come up. So if we go into the animal menu now, we'll see... That in our horse barn we have base food of 6260 litres and a total food of 6260 litres. So now we need to give the horses some hay. So I'll attach this bale spike and I'll go and put a bale into the barn. 
Now you can use either bales or loose hay, it won't make a difference. And if you're putting them into the horse pasture, you'll put them in the same place that we did the big bag. And if you're putting them into one of the barns, you'll put them in the same place that we did the straw and the other food. So, if I just grab one of these bales and put it in, you should see that our total food will go up and that will give us maximum effectiveness. So I'll just put this in here. Same place that we did the oat. And there you are, you'll see we now have 2,761 litres in this bow. So if I open the animal menu, we should see that our total food has gone up. There we go, we now have 11,500 litres total food. Okay, that's everything for looking after the horses. Now let's move on to the part I'm sure you want to know, which is making the most money from your horses. So if we open the animal menu, it says a horse's value is determined by its fitness, health and cleanliness. While that is true, there's a bit more to it than that, to make the most amount of money. As you can see here, I have a horse at its maximum value, which is £5,000, and I'm on normal economy. So, I'll show you how to get that much money for a horse. I did some different tests to find out the easiest way to reach maximum value for your horses. Now, you will need to ride and brush the horses, which improve their health, fitness, cleanliness, and value. So, I'll show you how to do that. To ride your horse, you go next to it, and I'm on PS5, so I press square, and that'll put me on the horse. Now, you'll see we have a riding percentage. Now, to improve your horse's fitness, you want to get that up to 100%. Now, the quicker you ride, the faster that percentage will go up. So, the easiest way to get this to 100% is to just gallop, and that should take around 2 minutes. Now, once you're done riding your horse, it will be dirty, so you need to brush it. And you do that by walking up to it and clicking the brush button a few times. So for me, that's circle. So, let's get into how to make the most money from our horses. So, 5,000 is the maximum you can sell a horse for. And to get that, your horse needs to be a certain age. Now, the first test I did was with this horse here. And I was riding and brushing it every day to keep its health, cleanliness and fitness at 100% until it reached maximum value. But you don't have to do that. The horse's value maxes out at 36 months, so 3 years old. And the second test I did, which is the easiest way to get that value, was having the horse and not riding or brushing it, just providing a mixture of oat, hay and straw, and at 30 months old, I started riding and brushing it every day until 36 months old, and that took the fitness, cleanliness and health to 100%, and the horse was at its maximum value of £5,000. Now it doesn't matter if you go over 36 months old, so say your horse is 39 months old before your horse's stats are at 100%, you'll still get £5,000. When it comes to selling your horses, you can do that in the exact same way that you buy them. So you can walk up to this icon here, open the animal dialogue, go across to your horse, select it and sell it. Now you will have to pay the transport fee doing it this way. You can also do it through the animal dealer in the shop. So you go to the animal dealer, select which horse pasture or barn your horse is in, select the horse, and you can press sell. You will also have to pay the transport fee doing it that way. And the last way you can do it is by using one of these trailers, which will take two horses at a time. So you get into your trailer, you drive over to the icon where the animal dialogue is, and that should let you load up your horse. And then you take it to the animal dealer and unload it. So here we can see I open the animal dialogue, Select the horse and move it to the trailer. And there you go, the horse is in the trailer and I can take it to the animal dealer and sell. Okay, so that's everything for today. I hope this video helped you out. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like and feel free to subscribe so you never miss another video.